Good day everyone. Today we're going to be focusing on recycles without chemical reactions. So in this process there's no chemical reaction taking place. It's just a physical process. You can see there's evaporation taking place. There's an evaporator there. You can see there's also a crystallizer there. So you do not have to use chemical reactions. There are no conversions. It's just material in and material out. So now what's the first thing that you do? It's simple here. And the problem statement is very, very small and straight or brief, straight to the point. Examine the figure 2.1. In stream C, the composition is 4% and 96% nitric uh, potassium nitrate, rather, and 4% water. So, what is the quantity of the recycled stream in kilograms per hour? So, now what's required is the recycled stream, the, the quantity of the recycled stream. So, what's the recycled stream here? So that's what uh, they're looking for you. So once you determine that, you have actually answered the question. So what do you what what is it that you first have to do? So now you must first write the basis. You can see here there's a value that you're given. This value here, you're given. It's ten thousand kilograms per hour of feed coming into the system. Okay. So now this is your system here. This is your system all over this place. So now that's the first thing that you must do and then after that you can go about finding the recycled stream so now we need to find we need to write down the basis okay so our basis we actually given so that makes it easier for us so write then down the basis is 10,000 kilograms per hour okay of feed you can just denote that with an F. So now you have to go now and determine the overall balance. So you go and write overall balance. Overall balance is given by now. You can go back to the diagram. You see, these are your system boundaries here. So that's where your overall balance will go through. Start with the simplest balance. Okay, so you can see feed is coming into the system, and then you can see W and C are actually leaving the system. So once you can write down that balance, you are sorted. So now let's go back. So we've got F coming into the system. F okay, is coming into the system given by W plus C. So in equals to out. So what's coming into the system is F. What's leaving the system is W plus C. Okay, so we know the value of F. So we can quickly substitute that one. It's the base is 10,000. What we do not know is W and C. Okay, so we can make that one our first equation. We can make that our first equation. And then we now we have to go and conduct the component balance. So we can choose, you can see these components here. Uh, it looks like potassium nitrate is the component of utmost importance here. So you can use the component balance, okay, yes, as potassium nitrate. Okay, so now let's conduct the component balance. Okay, so potassium component balance, you write down there, component balance okay, so now we just need to know how to denote it so the component balance the x represents the the mass fraction of that particular component in this case is kno3 f there multiplied by the total stream f equates to x there's one there in w Okay, we just first write everything, then you cancel uh, the other things later. Okay, so now we've got x in C as well, KNO3, that's there. Okay, so C. So this is your second equation. Okay, so now you can substitute. Now we know that KNO3 in W stream, it's not there. So here, there's no KNO3. KNO3 here is 0. Okay. So now, when you go back to your equation, 
you might as well um, eliminate kn of 3 okay eliminate kn of 3 so that you reduce the complexity of your equation so now when you substitute you know that there's in the feed there's 20 percent okay of f that is kn of 3 20 percent of kn of 3 in f given by the you've got 96 percent you went below and c becomes the becomes the unknown so now you solve for c and then you punch in your calculator you got 23.3 that's kilograms per per hour okay so you've solved uh, you've or you've determined your first unknown okay so now you can use that okay, to go about determining the recycling stream because now c is also connected to the recycling stream so if you do make a, a balance around the crystallizer it will be easier for you to find c you have a balance here around the crystallizer now you need to make a balance here okay if you go have a, a overall balance around the crystallizer you can see stream f is coming in r is leaving and c is leaving okay so now you go back and find the other unknown so first you conduct a balance around the crystallizer so you must write this balance around the crystallizer that's very important so that you do not forget okay so now you've got uh, pardon me about that okay so balance okay around the crystallizer okay so now what's the balance around the crystallizer so you see it's m equals to c plus r okay i've denoted this balance with the with the red marking around the crystallizer you can see the okay so now let's uh, proceed okay then you know that m equal to r uh, plus you do know r so you do know you do know c c is 2083.3 what you do not know is r and m so you can make this your third equation it's very important to number the equation just in case you have to substitute so it helps you there now because you're given you are given a ratio in r this is the ratio of r here so now you need to try and and, and determine the composition here in r so what's the composition here in r this one here we are given that ratio there okay so we can convert that to a composition and once we're done doing that then we can go about determining let's just work on that first okay so now we know that we are given in the r stream you can just write r stream okay let's check what we're given in r stream we're given component write down the component So now here's the component. Component is K NO3. Then you also have H2O as your component. And you can see that's the total there. And you've got mass in kilograms 0.6 days of night H is to 0.6 is to 1. Okay, so the total is 1.6 okay take that ratio there and then now determining the mass fraction because this is mass so here what you will get is the mass fraction so once you've got the mass fraction here it's 0 0.375 and then the other one is 0 0.625 so this totals up to one so you've got your composition 
this is your mask fraction of the composition now once you have that you can easily go and conduct your comp the other component panels to find the recycler stream so let's look at that now. you can go right component panels component balance okay so this one you must first write all variables down so here it's m okay k03 multiplied by the total stream m okay remember it's still around the crystallizer x c k03 potassium nitrate total stream c plus x r k03 multiplied by r you can see that's your equation four okay so here you've used you've used kno3 as the component okay so kno3 here is used for the component balance okay so that's what that's the component that we're using so now we can go about and substitute okay zero point five multiply by m since we know the composition m stream of kno3 and C stream is 96 percent and we found C to be 20 83.3 okay and then we know the composition now since we've determined the composition or the mass fraction okay so that's R okay is so now substituting M into into equation four then let's see what happens now you've got that equation d m this is the equation this equation is going to be substituted so equation three is substituted into into equation four okay so we substitute we substitute equation 3 into 4 so let's see what happens now okay so you go 0 0.5 multiply by r plus that's m it's going into this equation m is equal to r plus 2083.3 equates to 0 0.96 then you've got 2083.3 and the last one you can write it here plus it's going to be can you just remove that okay. So now, okay, sorry about that. So remove that, okay. So now here we've got plus 0.375R. Okay, so that's the equation. Now, when you simplify this, it's going to be 0 0.125. Equivalent to nine five eight point three one eight is provided with the calculator. Therefore, the recycling stream is seven six 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 one five. That's kilograms per hour. So now you've determined your recycling stream. So your recycling stream is. 7666.5 you see that so that's your your recycle stream and then you can also go and view and just check you can see all your balances there just make sure that everything makes sense first of all we started with the overall balance and then we did the crystallizer balance that's how we're able, able to determine stream r okay so thank you that's it for today